Rock stars. Eric Andres, your guitar sage here. Today we're going to learn some Billy Squire. We're gonna learn Everybody Wants You. I love this freaking song. Last band I was in, cover band, uh, we covered this tune. It was my favorite. I just love Billy Squire. And so you do too. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. Not a lot of Justin Bieber fans probably watching this video. I like classic rock. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play it, okay? And then we're going to break it down. I'm going to answer any questions that you might have that I know that you're asking in your head, that is. And um, we'll go into the details. Okay, here we go. It's going to go something like this. Okay, so that is like 95% of the song, okay? Um, let's, I'm gonna show you the bridge part and then uh, the last little bit in the end, okay? So then there's this bridge part that goes. Everybody wants you. Everybody needs you. Everybody needs you. Okay, now, so let's go back and we'll talk about the bits and pieces here. It looks really um, difficult, but it's not at all. It's actually super easy. It's very rock and roll. If you're used to like ACDC and those types of songs, we're doing a lot of those same techniques. Okay, so let's start off. This beginning part is a little bit complex and I had to listen to this song quite a bit. Uh, looked at a bunch of tabs and I don't think anybody really got it right. So I listened to it a whole bunch with headphones and what have you and I think this is spot on. So um, this first part starts off um, a little bit different than the second part of the lick, which sounds very similar. And so you're going to play this open, uh, this third string open, and then this is like a little power chord here. You put your first finger at the second fret of the third string and your pinky at the fifth fret of the second string. It's called a double stop when you hit two notes at once like that. And so you're going to hit the open G and then the power chord. That's the basic motif, okay? And so, and then the, the bend is going to go. And so I use my third finger and bend at the fifth fret of the third string. And that's all single melody stuff there with the exception of the double stop. Okay. And then it changes when the band kicks in to... Now these are double stops, okay? Again, two notes at a time. And so here at the seventh fret, we're on strings four and five, and we're gonna go from the fifth to the seventh fret. Okay, now this is at strings two and three of the fifth fret. That's our little bend note. Okay, and then when we kick into the verse, it's gonna go. There's a couple different ways of playing this, but I want you to think G, D. So like. 
But those sound a little full for this song. We want a little bit of a lighter tone, not those low notes there. So what I do is I grab this G, which is basically this, but I'm just kind of playing it with the first finger and playing strings four, three, two, one. And then same thing with the D string, strings one through four. We could just as easily play strings uh, two, three, and four open. But I swear I'm hearing this note in there. Okay, so, so after, here's the verse. Just a blues lick, really. We're gonna slide our pinky up from the fifth to the eighth, and then back to the fifth. Seven on the third. And then you're gonna slide from your first finger, fifth to seventh, and then back to the fifth. You also have to choke this at the top. And so what I mean by choke is, when you hit the note, take your pick, touch the string, and mute it again. Or you could use the palm of your hand, but it's, it's a lot quicker to use your pick because your pick needs to hit that string again. So, so, so. Okay. The alternate version of that lick is going to go. Okay, a little blues lick for you. If you like blues, here on YouTube, type in your Guitar Sage Blues. I have a slew of blues lessons for you. Okay, and in the Unstoppable Guitar System of course, I have a whole section dedicated to making you an awesome blues player. So check that out. You can do it for a buck. Uh, links are below. All right, so um, that's the second lick, and he always plays that um, usually second, and then later on in the song, he plays it a couple times in a row. So the first one is, the other one is, and he follows the vocal with that, okay? So um, we got. This is the second time. Okay, super fun here. So what we're gonna do is, after that lick here, gonna, gonna grab this G note on the low E string real quick with the second finger and you're gonna bend it. You're gonna hit it and bend it up. Okay, and there's a slow bend up. You're going to get to it quick, but a slow bend up. Very tricky. And then an E. And a real rock and roll way to play that is to hit the low end first and hit the high end of the chord like this. Okay. And then, we, and then after that, we got a G and an A. Okay, so the first part is gonna go. Second time. Power chords G and D. Super easy, okay? Power chord G, power chord D. If you don't know what power chords are here on YouTube, your guitar sage, power chords. Look it up, learn. All right. Wants you. Okay, you listen really carefully, you'll hear the chords change like that. A lot of people get that wrong. If you look up 100 tabs, you'll find that about 100 of them are wrong. Actually, one guy will get it right. Um, actually, I've never seen any right on it. Listen to it. Everybody wants you. Okay, and we got the, we got the chorus, I mean the, the uh, bridge, and it goes like this. It's a D chord. But you're playing, basically it's a, it's a D suspended or a D, you could call it an add nine or a D two. Uh, basically, here's the third of the chord. 
but we're playing a, a two, basically. So, so you hit the first part of the chord, strings three, two, uh, four, three, two, and then one, two, and then one again, except you're going to put your pinky on the fifth fret. And here we're just just chunking away in a D. And then E, power chord, or you could do bar chord, but probably a power chord is going to sound best. And then a D power chord. We know this because we know the notes that are at our first finger. We know this is an E chord because this is an E note. And we know this is a D power chord, power chord because this is a D note. If you need help with that, go to the beginner playlist on my YouTube channel, after you hit subscribe, of course, and um, you'll, uh, in the beginner's playlist, I'll teach you how to know all the notes on the fretboard. Uh, if you need help with power chords, your guitar stage power chords here on YouTube. Okay. What in heaven's name did I just do? I'm going to show you. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, here's what's happening. This is a crazy little bit. Um, when I l first learned how to do this, when I was playing Run to the Hills by Iron Maiden, I just played that for like a week straight and um, literally killed my grandmother. Literally, it killed her. Moment of silence for grandmother. Okay, so um, old ladies hate that. And so what we're doing here, this note right here is a high E, and it's the 12th fret of the high E string. Okay, and the other thing you're doing, I just spat bigger than life on my hand. Um, glad your screen is protecting you. Um, so in this note here is the 15th fret of the B string. And uh, you can hit this with your pinky or your third finger, um, just like this. And you're going to bend this note up to an E. So oddly enough, this note's an E. And you're bending this note up to an E. And it gives this really squirrely, scary sound. And then when you shake it, you give it some vibrato. Sounds very frightening. Okay, that's at the end of that, so. Okay, and then you're back into that bend again. It's a push, meaning you're gonna grab it a little bit earlier than the downbeat, okay? And you're gonna bend slowly up on that G. And then you're back into the, the second main lick again. And then there's this little vamp section where he goes. This takes a little getting used to. It looks pretty easy, but this little technique does take some getting used to. Here on YouTube, you could type in your guitar sage octaves, that's O-C-T-A-V-E-S, and, uh, and I'll show you how to play this, octaves, that is. And then I'm also doing some fancy pants left hand muting. So even though it looks like I'm just kind of holding the chord down here, I'm really only holding two notes down, and the rest of the notes are muted. Okay, um, so on YouTube here, type in your guitar stage muting, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, um, that is the whole song, from what I understand, if I can recall correctly. Okay, hopefully you learned something here. If you have, hit thumbs up, please, and uh, subscribe if you want to have more tasty licks in your inbox. Um, spay and neuter your cats and dogs, please. If you would like a free ebook on how to play guitar, go to yourguitarsage.com and get it. I also have a free video series that cannot be found on YouTube or any place else for that matter at unstoppableguitarsystem.com. Links are below. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter if you have any questions. This is Eric Andreas, your guitar sage. See ya.